Starting an inferno round on the terror side, you can throw the smoke to the top middle by running and jump throwing the grenade by aiming at the top of the fence while running and jump throwing the smoke when you exit the arc. By getting closer to a side, you can throw a flashbang to the long by getting stuck in this barrel here and jumping on it while aiming under this roof like this and just throwing it, enemies will not expect to see the flashbang popping out. You can throw a quick smoke to the pit from the middle corner by creating an imaginary line to the corner of a flower pot and throwing the smoke to block of vision of someone camping there. In the same middle place but in the different corner you can throw smoke to the long entrance by aiming between the flower pot and wires like this and enemies will have to risk going through the smoke while you executing a side from the short. With your teammate, you can boost the roof to kill enemies unexpectedly by gaining weird angles that enemies will not be ready for. Going into apps, you can wallbang through the wall to check if anyone is waiting and also you can create a one-way smoke to a side by getting stuck between this doorknob and aiming at the edge of the starting arc like this and throwing the smoke. As a bonus, you can throw Molotov to the pit and catch enemies running for their lives. In the apps, you can throw flashbang to a side without enemies reacting to it by getting stuck near this arc side and aiming at this chimney while ducking. The position doesn't matter, just make sure the flashbang reaches the chimney. Moving to a side, you can throw two different smoke grenades to block vision from pit or apps by getting stuck to this arc wall and aiming at the start of this line on the wall and jump throw, or at creating an imaginary line between the crossing of this antenna and roof making a corner and just throwing the smoke. The first smoke you threw with a jump throw will block vision for the pit and the second from the apps. Moving to another side like B, you might want to learn this flash but can flash an annoying AVP player in the barrel spot. Even if he is crouching in a corner like this, you have to get stuck to these railings and aim above the window where the dark stone starts to show. For 128 ticks, you might want to aim at the window corner, but for 64, you aim higher and jump through the flashbang about 1 minute 47 seconds in the round for the best performance. Moving to the next stage of flashing enemies while your teammate executing beside like maniacs, get stuck to the small corner and aim at balcony thick line like this and just throw the flash. Coffins need to be smoked so enemies will not overuse this obvious location, get stuck to the sword log stuck together and aim by creating two imaginary lines from the fence balls and just release the smoke. Counter terror is done like when a favorite spot is on fire, so Molotov in B side quad and our spots could get rid of sneaky city players. To do so, you have to get stuck between this wall and barrel and aim above fence ball and rooftop and jump through it, Molotov in first and second spots. To Molotov quad, you have to get stuck to this barrel and this wooden plank and aim at the rooftop with Sky also jump throwing the Molotov. Smoking city is easy, if you don't want to expose yourself you can smoke it safe from this corner here and aiming at the start of the arrow and holding left and right mouse buttons and jump throwing the smoke. Here's a pop flash to city and a little to be side, get stuck to right side of the spiller and aim between this line on the wooden plank and jump throw. Here's a 100% flash to be side. Get stuck between this first window and aim at the roof corner and throw the flash. If you're rotating to the side and want to check the sandbox, here's the limit the enemies can hide before exposing themselves. After this box, if you don't see the enemy, he's not here. Changing the side to counter terrorists, you can throw grenade by staking them. If you ask why it's better, because if an enemy is rushing to the middle, you will do more damage to them and will be safer than just throwing it normally. And with strafe, you can throw grenades to the underground. It's better if the middle is smoked for safety reasons, so if you can smoke it or enemies can smoke it for you to throw a grenade. Get stuck to the corner and aim at the height of the broom and a pipe and run until you reach the corner and throw a grenade. For the better damage and the kill, you can do this with your teammate making a grenade combo. So for another side, you have to get stuck to this pallet and aim at this corner where the flowers are located 
and throw a grenade the same way earlier by releasing it at the corner when Corsair touches it or stay throwing it to the right. For the slower round you can smoke ramp by getting stuck to the wall and aiming at the sky between building and just throwing the smoke. To flash ramp to the enemy he have to get stuck to the wall and find this antenna here without obstructing it. And aim at the top left side and throw the flash it could be for your teammate or yourself. Jumping on balcony is easier than you think when you use lineups. Get on rails and look for the third shadow with a ball and aim at this first flower pot bottom right corner. And run and jump when the corner on the left is about to disappear. For players who are using a 4 to 3 aspect ratio, you jump after it disappears. Or without moving your mouse, jump until you reach the end of the flower pot. Playing short you can create a one-way spot to the short by aiming at this barrel line and throwing the smoke. This will create a gap in short with the smoke being there, enemies will have no choice but to go under the roof so you can hide behind the hay bale and wait for an easy kill. The enemies who are rushing top middle here's a flash to support your teammates who are watching top middle from the long, short or roof. You have to get stuck to this barrel in the pit and aim in the middle of this antenna and just throw the flash. Coming from long to a side you can throw smoke by right clicking while running to a side platform and jumping on the box creating a one way when you don't make a sound. Another way to create one way from long is by right throwing the smoke in the middle of the side as shown in the video. After that jump on the motorcycle and look for the enemies while hiding behind the smoke. And while you're at the pit you can throw the smoke by right clicking at the stone here and looking under the smoke without enemies seeing you. Going into the side after rotating you can throw this flashbang if teammates are still inside to flash the enemies without flashing your teammates and yourself by throwing the flashbang on the walkway behind the church building. You can make a one-way smoke to banana by getting stuck to sandbags and aiming at the triangle at the wall, throwing the smoke and hiding behind the left side. To slow down enemies going to base side you can throw this one way by right clicking it under this window line here. This can also help players from coffins to kill enemies. To flashbang enemies while also getting ready to take out your weapons you have to get stuck to this first spot and aim in between the second and third columns and throw the flash like shown in the video. If you're timid you can boost on city boost but when the terrorist smokes city you can even play it to your advantage by getting as far back as possible until you see this first square brick on the wall and hiding behind the smoke. When you attack them especially with silence weapon enemies might think it's coming from city and not from a boost, so why not take advantage of this spot. Boosting with our teammate behind the quad I hope is nothing new, but this unexpected one way might surprise even your teammates, and not to mention has backup plan. Well it's kinda hard to pull off so watch carefully. To start with you have to jump on quad boost without getting your head stuck, then get stuck to the corner without ducking and then duck without moving. Aim at top of this dark spot and in the middle of this line here. It's easier with any scope weapon but it's possible without one and just release the smoke. When you start to take damage you can jump down and look under the smoke like a backup. And this is it for Inferno, if you want more you can now support me on Patreon and by subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you again in the future.